Now it's seven, so it's the top of the hour, and we will get started. Today is Tuesday, so welcome to Forex Basics. I like to start every class with just a brief introduction of Tradera, in case we have any first timers on the call, and uh, why we do this class. So, looking at the visual, Everything that you see on the right is what Tradera has to offer. The back office, we've done a couple of classes on um, all the wonderful topics that are back there. So I don't want you to be afraid to go through that back office because it's it's a gold mine back there. The owners, Cody and Easton, uh, did a great job of telling you everything that you need to know to be um, a Forex trader. However, it's not all concept and theory. They introduce the subject. Let me make sure everyone's muted out. And immediately they um, go into the charts. So it's a great mixture of um, concept plus practice and practical application. So they do a really, really good job. So. Uh, and maybe we'll do that class again. I don't think my recording um, held with that one. But there are some basic elements in the back office, like support and resistance and market structure and the intraday trading strategy, that if you can take those classes, it'll make all the live classes that you'll go to uh, make so much more sense. And speaking of live classes, Chadera has um, an official master trader. Derek Conway. He is amazing. I go to his classes every night. They are Sunday through Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. And the only way to get access to his class is to log into your back office, look on the left for live trading um, classes, live training sessions, and you'll see a join link. So uh, he is phenomenal, six figure trader. Um, I use his strategy um, personally in my trading and a lot of what my team does will go to his class he marks up i don't know seven to ten different charts um, giving you the support and resistance zones and basically we trade zone to zone looking at price action how it's um, acting at the zones and make our buy or sell decision so he goes over that sunday through thursday it's it's excellent and then he can post the charts in the Tradera official um, chat telegram. So highly recommend that. We're gonna wrap up this call as close to eight as we can so that um, those of us who are interested can jump over there. But um, in addition, there are other uh, live traders. You have Coach Max, you have um, Ryan DeFreitas, um, and they normally have um, a New York session in the morning um, at 8 a.m. and then a uh, London session at night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you're sub subscribed to the Lit News Telegram, I think that's where you can get those links. And then there are additional study groups. You know, if that wasn't enough, you have Brenda Assern and Clyde Fisher, wonderful um, traders who um, they also have some meeting um, times that they have in the mornings to, to go over trade ideas as well. So lots of great stuff happening. It's a wonderful trading community. So because of all that good stuff that Tradera offers, um, we have this class on Tuesday and Thursday just to kind of help get you warmed up for all of that stuff. So in this class, what we like to do is just introduce some of the terms that you will hear the master traders teach about. It's basically so that you won't feel lost. You know, we're going to help you get started with your demo account. Um, we'll do some intro to trading view. That's where you um, can learn how to mark up your charts. And we'll talk about the Tradera trade alerts and how to take those. And basically, it's just, you know, a warm up just to help ease you into the, into the tradition of um, all the good stuff that you will find in the live classes. So we don't want you to feel um, overwhelmed because Forex is kind of like an elephant. It's a, it's a lot to learn. So this is just like a beginner class just to kind of ease you into everything that Tradera has. And that's why we do it. So the format of the class is normally the first 
10 to 15 minutes, I'll go over something um, new and or important that you'll need for those live classes. And um, in every class, about 7.20 till, till about uh, the slides that we do in every class. And that's how to open up your demo account, download the app where you take the trades. I'll teach you about the Tradera Trade Alert, what it looks like, and show you how to take that um, once you have the MT4 downloaded on your phone. So if you're brand new, uh, welcome, and we will get you started um, by 7.30. And then the last half hour, we'll do Q&A, well, where hopefully I can answer your questions. So with that, what I'd like to go over tonight is something that we have not talked about. So let me, give me a second and I will share a new slide. All right, so while that slide is coming up, um, a lot of you have been here, uh, we're going on a couple of months now. So we're gonna get, advanced is, is too strong a word, but we're gonna be talking about some next steps because a lot of you at this point um, already have your demo account. Some of you have your live account. You're actively taking the Tradera trade alerts. So I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks, for lack of a better word, in terms of how to manage your trades. So what I want to talk about is trailing your stop loss. Now, remember, when you, let's say you're going for um, a buy trade, if the trade doesn't go your way, then you have that stop loss set to protect your account and take you out of the trade at the point that you designate. So that's what the stop loss is for. So let me go into an example to show you what you can do in terms of managing your trade when you're taking the Tradera trade alert, or if you're in one of the live classes and the other trader um, gives you a trade idea, uh, this will apply there as well. So let's say we are in a sell trade. You take a sell trade when you expect price to go down, to drop, okay? Um, here is a snapshot of TradingView. TradingView is where we go online to sort of mark up our chart and do our analysis. We don't take our trade there, but it's where we go to um, see where all the trade setups are and to take a look at the charts. So in this particular one, we are looking at EJ, Euro JPY, EJ for short. And let's say, uh, take a look at these blue arrows. Let's say that your entry, maybe it was a Tadera trade alert or another trader called it out. Let's say that your entry is here. So we're selling, so our take profit is going to be somewhere below with this arrow. And let's say it's somewhere above our entry. Now, I know a few of you have reached out to me in, on Telegram and said, you know, what is the deal with MT4? It keeps giving me this error saying um, invalid when I try to take a trade. Normally, nine times out of 10, that happens when you're in a sell and your take profit is not below your entry and your stop loss is not above. This is how um, it should flow. So let's look at some specific numbers. So let's say that our entry is 121.956. That's our entry price. Our stop loss is a little bit above it, 122.15. And our take profit, if we can reach it, is 121.480. So we've taught um, before that when you take a trade, and you've been doing it for a little while and you wanna take that next um, step, let's calculate the risk to reward. So looking at my entry price, if I subtract from my stop loss, that's about 20 pips. How do I get 20 pips? Um, it's really a subtraction problem. If this was 121, um, 122.00, then it would be easy to see that that stop loss um, difference or distance is 15. But because we're at 121.95, we got to add an extra five pips there. So that's how we get our 20 pips. We're just subtracting. 
And likewise, from our entry all the way down to our take profit, how many pips is that? So that's going to be subtraction as well. And the 95 minus the 48 is going to give us 53 pips. So this is a really good risk to reward ratio. We're risking 20 pips from our entry to our stop loss, and we're hoping to gain 53. So that's a little bit over a one to two uh, ratio. That's definitely um, what you want. So here's what uh, we recommend. When you are up, 25 pips and let me make sure you can see that and that 25 is kind of arbitrary it could be 20 pips it could be 30 pips but once you go up a, a nice amount of pips you want to adjust your stop loss okay so when you are up 25 pips you want to move your stop loss price to your entry price. So right here, I'm going to signify this by taking this blue arrow for my stop loss and putting it right here next to my entry. So remember, my entry price was 121.9. So I'm going to modify my MT4 trade and I'm going to make stop loss 121.956. Why do I want to do that? Okay, so let's say we didn't. So let's move our stop loss back. So let's say we enter here, price is dropping, it's dropping a lot, we're making money, we have a little bit of a pullback, so we lose a little bit, then we come down and then price hits our take profit, okay? So the suggestion is once you're about, you know, 20, 30 pips in profit, there's no need to risk price going all the way back out hitting your stop loss and you losing so what we want to do is take that stop loss put it here now if for some if there's some crazy news event or something out of the blue happens and the price goes the wrong way once we hit our entry point mt4 would take us out of the trade but it's basically break even you didn't lose you didn't win and we call that like a risk-free trade, right? So you always want to um, prevent losses whenever you can so that you can live to trade another day. So uh, you'll hear the traders on the, on the um, live call say, move your stop loss to break entry, to break even, or move your stop loss to entry. And that's what they will be referring to, making your stop loss the entry price. So let's do a buy example to see how it works the other way. So you know with a buy trade, you expect price to go up. So let's say here's our entry down here. Our stop loss is going to be below in case price doesn't go our way. And if we can get it, our take profit is going to be somewhere here up top. So here are some example numbers. Entry price about 120.80. Your stop loss below it, 120, uh, I'm sorry, 120.60. And then your take profit up high at 121.60. So I made these numbers a little easier to calculate the, the risk to reward. So first, what is your risk? What is the number of pips from your entry down to your stop loss? You do a quick subtraction the 80 from the the 60 from the 80 and you get 20 pips and then you subtract as well to get your reward the take profit the 121.6 um, from um, the entry of 0.80 and that is that reward is wrong so the entry price all the way up, oh, that's gonna be a huge uh, take profit. I will get that corrected, it's a lot more than 80. So definitely you have a really good risk um, to reward ratio there. And when, just like with the sell, when you are up 25 pips or say, so around this point when you're um, winning the trade, you're going to take this stop loss and move that 
in your MT4, I'm just giving you a visual here on TradingView so you can see what it looks like. But in your MT4, you're going to modify that trade and make your stop loss the same number as your entry price. That way, if price for whatever reason were, if the bottom just fell out and you had a nice long candle, it's going to take you out of the trade, but you're not going to lose. And that's the whole goal. And you know something that's even more advanced is, let's say your take profit you know, was way up here. So as price, this is still your entry, right? Because you're only entering one time. As price, you know, when it gets to this point, you can take your stop loss and even move the past your entry and you can move it here, right? This is called trailing your stop loss. So as price starts moving further and further up, you take your stop loss and you kind of trail behind it. And what does that do? If price were to unfortunately just fall and knock you out of the trade, then all of this in between your entry and stop loss, you have secured that. You can't lose it. So the closer your stop loss is to your take profit, the more of your profit you have secured. So I remember a couple of weeks ago, Dr. PK was on the call and she was so excited because in her demo account, she had won a trade and she was up several, several hundred dollars. And she did what a lot of us do. You said, ooh, I'm so excited. I don't want to risk anymore. I'm just going to close this trade out. And that is perfectly fine. You can take your money off the table. But here's an alternative. So let's say um, you're close to your take profit, but not quite there yet. And you just don't know if you want to risk it and stay in the trade. What you can do is what we call a tight stop loss. If price is here, move your stop loss down here just a little bit below where price is. So if it drops, then it takes you out and you've secured all of this profit. But if price takes off in your direction, guess what? You're still in the trade. So the advantage of trailing your stop loss and inching it up, the more and more profit you get, is that you keep yourself in the trade. You can almost take away your take profit. You know, because, you know, we don't have a crystal ball. Sometimes trades will hit TP1 and, and then change directions. Sometimes they hit TP2 and change directions. Sometimes they go all the way to TP3. So if you are taking a Tradera trade alert and you can tell that it's close to TP1 and you kind of, you're feeling a little um, playful and you want to stay in the trade longer, you can um, either take your TP1 and make it TP2 and just move your stop loss to protect your profits. And as it gets closer and closer to TP2, again, take that stop loss and just move it closer and closer to where price is. You've protected all of your profits and you're still in the trade. So that's the... Uh, managing aspect of your trade that I wanted to uh, go over this evening. And we can talk more about it uh, during the Q&A if you have some questions. So at this point, let me, uh, for our any first timers out there, let's pull up the demo account and help those of you who have not done so to get started. So one second and I will share that new slide. All right, so one of the first things that you want to do to get started is to set up your demo account. And so let's walk through the steps to do that. So when you're ready for your live account, you are going to partner with a broker. And we have a list of brokers here that the traders have recommended. Tradera won't um, officially recommend any one broker over the other. This is just a list of some of the common ones that the traders are using. So for uh, screenshot purposes and to be able to walk you through all the steps, 
we will use Hugo's Way for this class. So hugosway.com forward slash demo dash sign up. And by the way, all of these uh, short videos as well as the whole recording of the class will be posted on my YouTube page. And when, the, when we get to the q and I will post a link to my YouTube in the chat. So if you wanna do a Hugo's Way demo, here's the URL. Type in your first and last name, email address. For leverage, use 500. That's actually a good leverage for your live account as well. And then you wanna use the smallest balance just because it's just more realistic and you'll be uh, more familiar with it when you do your live account. A lot of demo accounts will start you at $100,000, $50,000, and those numbers are just so just a lot to have to maneuver. So when you hit submit, um, Hugo's Way will send you a confirmation email and pay attention to this demo account number and this trader password. That you will need to log into your MT4. And MT4, which stands for Meta Trader 4, that's the app that you're going to download on your phone to actually take the trades. So trading view is where we go to mark up the charts and do our analysis, but we actually take a minute or two to actually input the trade on our phone using MT4. So it's really convenient if you will pull this email up on your phone because 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 then you can just do the download. Now you may be wondering, well, I want to you know maybe you want to trade on your uh, laptop or your desktop, and that is perfectly fine too. The setup is a bit more complex it's a lot more going on so i haven't gone over that in these classes because i want to keep it kind of simple <laughs> i don't want to lose lose you with um, a lot of those details but at some point we will try to um, dive into that but for now to keep things kind of simple um start off with it start off with it on your phone if you're able all right so those are the first by the time you're done with this, you would have created your demo account in Hugo's way and downloaded uh, MT4. Let me share the next step with you. So now for, we'll go through the steps for the iPhone and for the Android in terms of how to connect to that demo account that you just created. So let's start with the iPhone. Once you open up MT4, in the bottom right corner, you see the settings app. Um, you wanna click on that and then new account. And let me spend just a minute here. So MetaTrader 4 has its own demo account and that's what you'll, see explained in the back office of Chidera. And so you can just, you don't have to go through the broker for your demo account. You can use this first option here. Um, I just kind of wanted you to get some practice with interacting with the broker. That's why we went through Hugo's way. And also this demo account, I believe is gonna start you off at $100,000. So there's nothing wrong with that. And you can definitely take that option. This will just give you a little bit of practice with um, talking with your broker. So let's use the second option because we already have an, an account. And for servers, you're going to type in Hugo's Way. So every broker typically has one that they use for the demo account and then one that they use for the live account. So for the demo account, you want to select Hugo's Way Demo 3. That will take you to the login page. And so on the left, here's that email that Hugo's Way sent. So for the login, you're going to use uh, the 210, that demo account number. And then for the password, make sure you use your trader password. The investor password is really just read only. So you won't be able to actually take a trade. You won't even need that at all. So just use your trader password. Uh, save password, make sure that's on. And then you won't have to pull that email up again and then click on sign in. For the Android, when you open it up, upper left corner, three horizontal lines, click on that, 
then manage accounts, and then this white um, cross icon in the upper right. Just like we did with the iPhone, you want to log into an existing account to get the access to the Hugo's Way. Type in Hugo's Way or search for Hugo's Way dash demo three. And then from that same Hugo's Way e email, type in your demo account number and your trader password. For the Android, just make sure this save password box is checked and you won't have to worry about typing that in anymore. All right, so now we wanna um, switch gears and get you ready for the Tradera trade alert. These alerts come out um, pretty randomly. Several, it could be several times a day, um, Sunday through Thursday. You can find them in your back office. It has a history of all the trade alerts that have come out. Um, I find it more convenient to get connected to the Telegram, and then I have a, an alert set on my phone so I know when those are coming in. So here is what the trade alert looks like. Tradera's trade team is placing a buy trade, and it could be a sell, on Euro odd at current market, current market price with the following parameters. So let's talk about each of these param parameters. Stop loss, we've kind of gone over. Um, in this case, we're going for a buy. If price reverses and doesn't or just never goes um, in our direction, if it's going down, then you need that stop loss price set so that MT4 knows when to take you out of the trade. That protects your account so that you can uh, control how much you lose for any one trade, which is very, very important. That's your risk. So the, the good thing to talk about is the take profit. What if price does go in our direction? Well, at some point, we don't want to stay in the trade forever because even if it hits our take profit, you want to exit the, exit the trade when you're happy with your profits. If you don't have a take profit and you stay in there forever, eventually price is going to fall down and it's going to hit your stop loss. So the take profit is set so that um, we are happy with our trade, happy with our pips, our profit, and we want to come out. Tradera will give you a choice of three, TP1, TP2, and TP3. So obviously, if you want to, you'll hear this phrase, pip and dip, you'll go for TP1. Um, if you want to, if you want to have a little bit more patience and get a little bit bigger profit, then you'll use TP2. And TP3 is for maximum profit and ma maximum patience. And it's going to be the riskier of the three because price may or may not make it all the way there. So now let's talk about lot size. That will not be on the trade alert, but MT4 will require you to input one. So just to keep it simple for now, here's like the industry standard. For every $100 that you have in your account, you can use a 0.01. If you have less than 100, you definitely wanna use 0.01. That's the smallest amount. So for these demo, uh, demo accounts with 1,000, then you can use 0.1. So at 0.1, every pip that moves, you're earning a dollar. Um, at the 0.01, for every pip that moves, um, that's 10 cents. So we'll talk more about lot size um, later. But proper risk management, every trade will end with um, please use proper risk management. And all that means is make sure that you have your stop loss set so that you are protecting your account for every trade. And also make sure that your lot size is in proportion to your account. So the last slide um, deck that I'll share with you is actually taking the trade, and then we'll go into Q&A. So this is the fun part, actually taking the trade, and you definitely want to start in your demo account, make as many mistakes as you can. This is where you learn with no risk. So on your iPhone, when you open it up, let's say that you don't see the um, pair that you want to trade in this list. Because when you start out with your demo, it's limited in terms of what pairs are shown here in this um, left-hand 
column. So if you don't see it, no worries. Just click on the blue cross icon in the upper right. This term, um, FX crosses. It could also say 4X. It could also say FX group. Just depends on the version of your phone. And here's CAD JPY. Let's say that's the one we're looking for. So I will hit the green um, circle, click done. And now CAD JPY will be at the bottom of my list. I'm going to hold it down just one or two seconds. And this menu, this bottom menu will appear. I want to click on trade. Now, if I click on chart, we haven't talked about that option. If you click on chart, it will actually give you um, a snippet you know, on your phone of what price is doing. So if for some reason you, know, you, you didn't have, have um, access to TradingView, you can look at it. You can see the chart before you take the trade, okay? And we'll talk about that more in uh, future classes. But here is the trade screen. And this is where we're going to input the values from the trade alert. So looking at that top row, you just wanna focus on the black number in the middle. That's your lot size. Remember that will not be on the trade alert. That depends on the amount in your account. So for these demo trades, if you have $1,000 in there, make sure that's 0.1. And I know for the Android, it needs two digits, so 0.10. So here, uh, and then you're literally just taking your finger, pressing it on that field and editing it. And for the stop loss, you're gonna type in the 76.248. And for the take profit, you're going to pick one and type that in here uh, for the take profit field. The last step, are we buying or selling? Trade alert says buy. Double check your numbers, especially that lot size, you cannot change it, and then press buy for the droid if you don't see the pair your list that you're trading click on the plus icon in the upper right in this case it says fx group um crypto crypto pairs are um examples would be bitcoin btc usd ripple xrp usd um, as a beginner you probably don't want to touch any crypto pairs indices these are what i trade and you've probably heard on the news, the, the S&P 500, you know, so um, that's an industry that you can trade. Um, one of the highest paying indices is uh, US 30. Um, these are not beginner friendly, but I just wanted to throw that in. Um, so once you see your pair, you just hold it down. And for the droid, it will say new order. So the iPhone says uh, trade new trade and the droid says new order the screen looks kind of similar here's the black number in the middle for the lot size now the droid is a little bit more cryptic it doesn't have a, a label for stop loss doesn't have a label for take profit so the left black number that's where your stop loss goes and for your take profit it's the black number on the right and just like with the iphone press buy and you are in the trade all right so a lot of information there let's go to our q and a diana are you on the call because i know you and i were messaging over the weekend let's see if diana is on the call i don't see her all right well unmute yourself and let's see what i can help you with Hi. Yeah, it is. I think is that Luann? Who's speaking? Uh, this is Jackie. Uh, hey, Jackie. How are you? Good. Um, I I put in a trade and you know I executed it, but I was gonna go back in and put my stop loss and stuff once I looked at it. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I think you have to modify, and yes. it wouldn't let me modify. It wouldn't let me put my stop loss or take profit in. You have and an I iPhone or, or Android? iPhone, iPhone. Uh, let's see. 
Mm-hmm. And I had done it before, I, you know. But this last time I tried to do it, it wouldn't let me in. And I was like, oh, this is dangerous. I don't have no stop loss or take profit either one. So what happened? What it what exactly happened? Oh, I was in the trade. I just it just wouldn't allow me to put no stop loss or take profit. It was like so when, grayed out. Instead of being red, you know, when you hit yeah. the modify, it, it just was like grayed out. Oh, you weren't able to select the modify. Mm-mm. Now I mean, I but, selected and put it in, but it wouldn't let me, the button was like grayed out. I couldn't execute and was it. This, was this like five minutes later after you entered the trade? Uh, How well, much time? Like, I mean, not a whole lot of time. And the market was open. It wasn't Friday at 5.15. Hmm, no. Hmm. They had called a, a, a trade alert, uh-huh. but... Um, I um, was going to look at the chart, you know, before I actually put in my, um, uh, you know, stop loss and take profit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's your broker? Hugo's way? Yes. That is strange. So was it what you remember? This was last week. Um, let's see. Today is what? Monday? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, it mm-hmm. might have been Monday. Well, let's see. Was it Monday or was it Thursday? I don't know. I'm getting confused. It might have been oh, yesterday. Oh, I know. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Um, that is strange, Jackie. The only reason I know that would happen is, you know, if you put the trade in at 450 on Friday and then, you know, the market closed oh, no. on you and, and it wouldn't let you do it. But uh, see if that happens again. You're in your demo account, right? No, I'm in my live account. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh-huh. For for that for that you need to um do a chat with Hugo's way and let them know you are not able to modify your trade because yeah that's da- that's dangerous. I know. <laughs> yeah, that has okay. never happened with to me. I've been with Hugo's way for for years. So let me know what what tech support says. Okay. Did you what happened with that trade? Did you close it? Yeah, I think I did. It lost. It lost. So I was glad to hear you talk about moving the stop uh, stop loss. Yeah, I've been losing. (laughs) Yeah, um, moving the stop loss works when the trade is in your favor. So if it if it if the trade never takes off in your direction, then you know there's nothing to do. But once you're in profit, yeah, moving your stop loss can help with that. All right, keep know. keep me posted. Let me know what Hugo's way uh, says about that. Okay, because that's that's not cool. Okay, who's next? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm a beginner. I just joined. Literally, I signed up on Sunday night, and You're last welcome. night I was trying. Thank you. I was trying to set up my my demo account. So mm-hmm. I use the, the 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 video from the back office. And yes. of course, I tried to use it. I downloaded MetaTrader 4 on my iPhone and I mm-hmm. set up my demo account. However, when I tried to do a trade, I used the, um, the 100,000 as my, my, my total number, amount of funds. And mm-hmm. first they said to use a lot size of 10. Mm-hmm. So when I went in to do a, a demo trade, it says I, it, no funds. I don't have any funds. I don't know where to go to change the amount of money or to change the lot size or the leverage. I don't know where to go back to get that screen. So I don't know what to do. Should I just start all over and go through, through the Hugo's way and create a demo account and go from there? Or do That's you- what I would say. That's what yeah. I would say. Because when you because- use the, the MetaTrader 4 one, I don't know that there's a way to change that 100,000. And it's, it's okay. just, those numbers are kind of yucky, you know? And it, and it doesn't allow me. So I'm glad I came on. So I will just scrap that account and go and sign yeah. up for a demo on Hugo's way and then yeah. take it from there. So Absolutely. thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, let me, Thank while you. I'm, re- sure, let me I, um, post, um, I will post the, um, my YouTube channel in the chat. Yes, and you can, you can find the short two to three minute version of these videos. So you won't have to listen to the, the whole class again. Thank you very much. Your channel? Sure. Let me. Uh... Hi. Hey there. Question. Mm-hmm. Could I'm I? A I'm, a, I'm, I'm a currently trading for um, the, the interest in trading. Um, 
can I use the Forex trading platform to trade or I have to use the MetaTrade? Yeah, we're all using um, MetaTrader 4, for sure. I, I was trading before I joined the um, Trader. Uh-huh. What platform were you using? Forex trading. Forex. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as familiar with that. Um, if it's working for you, sure thing. You're not, um, I don't okay. think you would have to use MC4. Between, but... What's the difference between using the MetaTrader app versus the Forex app? Yeah, I have not used the Forex app, so I'm not sure. But all the all the trainers, all the live trades are going to be um, on MT4, so I'm not sure if there's a difference or not. Okay. Okay. Question? Yes. I have a question. Um, can you talk about uh, pit, how to place pending trades, pending orders, I mean? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that... Um, that's a that's a different animal. Okay. We would definitely have to do a class or two on that. I don't use pending orders myself because I like to look at the chart and look at the candles and that determines if I'm getting into a trade. Okay. Um, but there but there are perfectly good uh scenarios where a pending order would be great. So I think I'll just have to add a class or two where we go over those. It's not even something that I can answer right now in 10 seconds without confusing you. I, I understand. <laughs> yeah. And I said, on a, I mean, I said on the class, I know um, Mr. Brown or black, I'm sorry, uh, does it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it was moving too quick and I didn't see how you actually place it. I mean, I think I went back in and could see how I could place it from my laptop. Now look to see I can place it from my phone, but it's not, mm -hmm. you gotta know the numbers and all that. So I just that's okay. I'll, I'll yeah, what, what you're gonna do? It is recorded. Of, Sorry. In, instead of market execution, if you right. actually when you're taking the trade, it says um, you have an iPhone or Android. Okay. Um. There's an option where. I forget what it says on the Android. On the iPhone, it says market execution. So right. if I press that then i can see options for pending orders okay and i, I can it, set yeah. whether it's going to be a buy stop sell stop buy limit or, or sell limit i was just trying to figure out the numbers i'm putting i mean i think i've done it and it came up you know buy stop but i don't know the numbers you know so I, i'm just learning yeah yeah I'll, I'll do i'll do a class on it and it and explain it because basically a pending order says when price gets here, right. then I want to buy or sell. Right. And not until price goes here. And depending on where price is now, that determines if it's going to be a stop order or a limit order. But yeah, I can, I can do a class and help you guys out. Hi, my name is Hi, Tosh, Tasha. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi, Tasha. Okay. Yes. My name is Shirley. Hey, hey how, I, how are you? Hello. I am trying to set up a demo account. And I'm I'm having problems. I've tried it twice. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get it set up. It's something that I'm not doing. Or I got to the password and the user, you know, mm -hmm. name there. And I just had problems and I typed it in exactly the way it was given to okay, me, you. you know, it, that it appeared to put in with lowercase yeah. and capital letters, but I still couldn't get it set up. Okay. So this is Hugo's way. So yes. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep trying. Hugo's this is way, Hugo's right. Way. Uh -huh. It is Hugo's way. And were you able to search for Hugo's way dash demo three for the broker? Yeah. Yeah, you did that step. Okay, I um, can't. I I did that. Okay, that's the main reason it it won't work. You got to make sure, make sure you don't have um because there's a new broker there. Make sure it's not Hugo's Way Live or Hugo's Way Real Three. It needs to be Demo Three. So double double check that. So make sure and, that is Hugo's. 
Okay. Let me, I'm going to share my screen and show you which step I'm talking about. So oh. connecting and are you on an iPhone <laughs> or Droid? Okay. iPhone. iPhone. Okay, great. So okay. let me make sure I'm sharing. Okay, great. So on this last screen, are you able to type in Hugo's Way and see an option for Hugo's Way dash demo three? You still with me? Are you there? I think I may have lost her. Hopefully she'll come I'm back. Here. Yes. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So are you, um, did you select Hugo? Yeah. Did you select Hugo's Way Dash Demo 3? Dash Demo 3. Mm -hmm. I don't, I thought I did. Dash Demo 3, but I might not have. Dash yeah, dash that, that would explain it. I, I'll try so, it. Yeah, double check and let me know if, if you the still have I an issue. Could. Okay. Okay. Who's next? Oh, okay. I'll do that. All awesome. right. Thanks. Hi, Hi. Mrs. Chernick. I have an Android. I'm where I need to be. Okay. I'm, I'm not hearing you. Are you hearing me now? Hold on. What name are you under? So I can make sure everyone else is muted. Icon. My okay. Is gotcha. Right. Okay, so, Icon. It's a, it's a little bit better now. Okay, great. I have an Android. I'm mm -hmm. not seeing the effects group in my list. I'm seeing indices, futures, stock, energy, metals, and cryptos. Not seeing anything else. Okay, and you have Hugo's way? Yes, I do. Okay, so one second. Let me to. let oh. me pull up that slide. So um, this is actually on MetaTrader 4, or is it Hugo's way I need to be on? Um, are you opening up? You're looking at MT4 on your phone, yes? Yes. Okay, and one second. Do, 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 do. So, looking at the screen, when you click on the ad, did you say you had Android? Yes. Okay. So, when you click this plus, mm -hmm. what, show, what shows up here? You don't see FX Group? No, I am seeing indices, futures, stock, energy, metals, and crypto. When I click on the plus. Say that list one more time. Indices, uh -huh. futures, stocks, energy, metals, and cryptos. She should have manage accounts. Not seeing that. Interesting. What have it should I be right at the top in the middle. What was that suggestion about manage accounts? That's what she should hit from that screen that she's on. Okay. Go to the left hand side to do that where the no, three. In the right. the so I'm seeing manager accounts, and when I click on manager accounts, um, the plus comes up with the amount, but he goes away, demo three, and the amount. So I should keep, click on the plus now. Where do I yeah, go? yeah, the plus is for the ad symbol, but I'm surprised that FX group or Forex or it's not there. But when I click on the plus now, it's telling me to open a demo account or log into existing accounts when I do the plus at the and, manager accounts. And you, you logged into your um, Hugo's Way demo three. Well, I saved it. So I'm assuming that I was already logged in. So I probably need to log in. Yeah, just, just to make sure everything is, is, is what we expect. Will do. Thank okay. you. Yeah, very, very strange. Hmm. Hopefully that fixes it. Okay. Um, I have a question. Hey there. Who's speaking? Hi. My name is Jackie. 
Hi, Jackie. Hi. I was trying to register um, my demo account. Um, I Hello? Can you guys hear me? Can hear you, but she's gone. Okay, we lost she's, her. Seems like Jackie? she's gone. Maybe, okay. maybe not. Hello, I'm Jackie. sorry. I have my phone went on mute. Can you hear me? Okay, we can hear you now, Jackie. Okay. okay. So my um, when I went to the MP four uh, account, mm -hmm. um, and it asked you to register. I have an iPhone. And it asked you to register, so I put my information in there. Hold, uh, hold on. It already has like a. Um, Jackie, which which step is register? Um, did I? Is it the register part? That I don't think I've gone over that step. That's why I'm not sure where you are. So you you created your demo account from hugelsway.com forward slash no. demo dash sign up. Is that how you started the process? No, I think she, she just went to. Yeah, it, it's yes, very. It's, yes, I did. OK, you did go to Hugo's way dash forward slash sign up yeah. dash demo. Yes. And you got the email. Correct. And you download the MP4. Yes. And now you're on your phone. Yes. So where is the register step? Um, when I went to your account and um, MT4, and I you want to do a manage account or log into existing? Jackie. And my phone keeps going on. Um, oh, okay. That option wasn't um, there for me. I didn't have that option. Yeah. Um, that's why it's taking you down a different path. Mm -hmm. um, and you have an iPhone or Droid? iPhone. Okay. So let's go to connecting. Okay, so looking at the screen, mm -hmm. so you did go to settings and then new account? Yes. And did you see this second option to log into an existing? Yes. And so you click that? Yes. And then were you able to do Google's way dash demo three? Yes. Okay, so you were able to get to the login page. Um, it already had a login number there and a password. Okay, but is that the one that he goes late gave you? No. Okay, erase that and, and use that. It won't give me the option to erase it. That's strange. Um, to I, erase the account, I think you just slide it across and then hit delete, just like you would delete an email. That's how I deleted my account. Yeah, I tried to go in and to delete that number, both of them, but mm -hmm. they wouldn't let me delete it. That is very strange. Um, and is that save password turned on? Because I think yes. you can turn, turn that off. And then maybe it'll let you delete it. Okay. Try that. That's that's strange. Okay. Okay. Let me know if that clears it up for you. Okay. Okay. Hello, Thank Tisha. You. In the meantime, yeah. can I can I ask a question? Of thanks course. for doing thanks for doing this. This is Terrence. I'm with uh, Alamin's team. 
Okay. And I'm going to do a French presentation on more or less what you did today. Is it oh, possible wonderful. to have the, this copy of this, your presentation, so I can more or less... Um, yeah, Absol absolutely. Look in the chat and I placed the link to my YouTube video, yes. YouTube channel, yes. and you will see Forex Basics, which is the hour-long class recorded but then you'll also see smaller two to three minute videos. So um, copy, take whatever you need. Uh, is it possible to have the file so I can, uh, so I can yes. do you some need of the it in French? Yes, the you, presentation. Yes. You need the PowerPoint. So can yes. you hit me up on Telegram and I, I can send you um, the ones that I have. Um, I don't know if you have, what's your Telegram? It's Link. Tasha, T-A-I-S-H-A, -S last name Hodes, H-O-D as in David, E-S as in Sam. If for some reason you can't find me there, then you can find me on Messenger. Okay, let me see. So you're the one doing the French presentation. Awesome. Um, Alamin, Alamin is doing the presentation, uh -huh. the uh, opportunity presentation in French. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alain, Alain, who is my direct sponsor under under Alamin, is doing the the theor theoretical part of it on Saturday. Uh huh. Bringing bringing up those who have little or no idea in uh, forex. Yeah. So he's doing that on Saturday. Then awesome. on Sunday we're trying to go with um, with some practicals. Yes. So, yes. For for some weeks now, Alain did the theory, and I will I will do the practicals. Awesome, so getting awesome, awesome. getting hands on at least to bring up uh, uh -huh. those who okay. Absolutely, that's very exciting. Yeah, I think I got you now. Awesome. I apologize. I missed part of that for the French. I do have somebody who's French in Haiti, who is interested in learning, uh, hearing about the opportunity. Yeah. Are we able to connect? Yes, the presentation is open to, to everyone. So um, we do it on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern and Sunday, 12 noon Eastern time. Okay, now is it always gonna be on Zoom or? Yes, Zoom, it's a Zoom presentation too. Okay, and is it a set number as well, hun? Um, yeah. Can I yes. have that? <laughs> yeah, yes. I apologize if I'm dominating the call. I'm so sorry. No. Well, it's probably in in the in our in the in Megan's chat. I think May Megan put it in the in, in her chat or in the uh, playbook. I don't know. Awesome. If, I don't know if Wait, she put it here in that. the playbook, but she has it in her chat. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm going to follow up with that then. I appreciate that. I'm so glad. I apologize. My son was talking to me and I No worries. <laughs> welcome. This is Shelly or is that? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, I'm okay. new. Welcome, welcome. Thank All you. right, everyone. I will get this recording um, uploaded to the YouTube channel either um, tonight or first thing in the morning. And for those who want to come on Thursday, uh, we will do it um, again. So Thank everyone. Um, I'm going to um, head over to Derek Conway's class. Again, if you want access to that, log into your back office, click on live trading sessions, and there's a join link. Um, I'm sure you will love it. All right, everyone. Good night and talk to you on Thursday. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so You're much, Tasha. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.